The curtain has fallen on one of the most extraordinary debut seasons Australian sport has seen. The Tasmania Jack Jumpers defeated by the Sydney Kings in Game 3 of the NBL Grand Final Series overnight. The team's incredible journey has captivated Tasmanians and basketball fans around the world. And despite a drama-filled build-up to the match, players fought tooth and nail until the very end. The 17-year drought is over. Sydney, the NBL 22 champions. The Jack Jumpers fairy tale might have come to an end, and while they didn't get the happily ever after they were hoping for tonight, once the dust settles on this extraordinary campaign, there won't be any disappointment with the team thoroughly exceeding expectations in their inaugural season. It's fairy tale, it's Cinderella, it's everything great about sports. After starting the season with two wins and six losses, the team rallied to sneak into the top four, going on to dethrone the defending champions on their home floor and securing a grand final berth against the Kings. To rally an entire state, not a city, but the entire state uh, and the impact that these gentlemen have had and the way they've carried themselves during the course of the season has been remarkable. As they have done for the entire final series, plenty of Tasmanians made the trip interstate to cheer on their team. Confident the fairy tale can continue tonight? Uh, if anyone's going to do it, the Jack Jumpers are. Wouldn't have missed it for the world, so all the way from Tassie, um, you know, to support the guys. What else would you want to do? The last grand final I was at, I was actually supporting the Sydney Kings in 2003, so to see the Jackies play is really exciting. And we're winners already, so we're just really proud of the team and proud of our coach. This is a bonus and, yeah, good luck for them for tonight. There was late drama ahead of Game 3. Jack McVeigh and Fab Krislovic didn't suit up and Matt Kenyon only played five and a half minutes due to a flu-like illness. But in front of the biggest NBL grand final crowd of all time, the JJs were brave in defeat, leading by a point at three-quarter time before they were overpowered in the final term to go down by nine points. What can I say about the Jack Jumpers? In a massive mark of respect from the Sydney crowd, that round of applause lasted 26 seconds. What a story, what a fairy tale. All fairy tales do come to an end, but it's just the beginning for them. So we look forward to a lot more to come from you, but enjoy this year from starting up first year in the league to come all this way and to put up such a fight. Uh, we could not be more proud and the winner is absolutely the sport of basketball. I understand we're, we're probably at some stages weren't going to reap the rewards of this season but this group of guys over here said to the hell with it let's give it a real shake and I, I couldn't be more prouder than the group right now over there. The Jack Jumpers season will formally conclude next Saturday night with the club's MVP awards ceremony. We'll be better from this. Brent Costello, Win News. Jack Jumpers forward Jared Bairstow says he'd love to see his side's three imports play for Tasmania again next season. Josh Adams, Mikhail McIntosh and Josh Majed only signed one-year deals, but have made it clear they'd love to return. A long, extraordinary season finally drawing to a close. The JJs landing back in Tasmania late this morning. Among them, some six soldiers forced to withdraw from last night's match. Jack and Fab were bed bound and couldn't move all day. Um, Jock had it last week and was still pretty knocked around by it and Kenny was very out of it. Our grit and determination and relentlessness was... I thought very impressive today with a shorthanded group. The team led the third game of the grand final series until midway through the final term before being overpowered by their star-studded opponents. Your 2022 Hungry Jacks NBL champions, the Sydney Kings. We knew to beat them, we had to be on point with everything that we did and we just had a few too many mistakes. We had a hell of a crack at it and went out swinging. Josh Adams did what he does best, hitting some crucial shots on his way to 27 points. The team's three development players also receiving court time, including Jock Perry, who made two massive three balls. With the Jack Jumpers domestic players already signed up next season, the focus over the coming months will be on the future of the team's imports. Josh Adams, Josh Majette and Mikhail McIntosh have all declared they'd love to return to Tasmania for NBL 23. Those three guys you're not going to find too many imports coming in that are as unselfish and just great people as those three. So 
I'd love to have them back and if you want to replace them, that's a tough task to do. As for what they need to do to go one better next season... <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, let me just uh, breathe and have a beer this, tonight and, and relax. And I'm not worried about next year or anything right now. And it's it's too soon. This is a tough one, knowing how far we're able to come and fall short at that last hurdle. And I can tell you what, this group is will be back next year, ready to go. Hopefully some more healthy bodies and we're going to give it another real shake. The Jack Jumpers' remarkable tale might have come to an end here tonight, but those that have been on the incredible six-month ride won't forget it in a hurry. This team has captured the heart of many, many Tasmanians and the good news is we get to do it all again as soon as October. The reality is that this starts again in six months and we are in a permanent feature in the National Basketball League forever and we can all be part of it and uh, we can all have high expectations about making grand finals every year. Brent Costello, Win News.